The chapel at the University of St. Thomas in Houston, Texas was designed by Philip Johnson. He was known for his modern use of materials such as glass, like the cross carved in the wall of the church. The bells are a Christian tradition which is important to the church. The ringing of the bell symbolizes the faithful being called to worship and mourn for the dead while guiding them to the final resting place. The building is comprised of three basic geometric shapes, a cube for the body, a sphere for the dome, and a granite plane to connect these shapes. To get inside the chapel, there is a tent flap before getting to the entrance. This represents the tent of meeting in the Old Testament. Inside the chapel is a large dome that lets the light from outside flood in. The light reflects against the walls and changes its intensity and direction throughout the day. All the elements within the chapel come together to create this space of peace and quietness that is perfect for a place of prayer. The glass cross carved into the side of the chapel creates a convex illusion when the light hits it. The cross brings together the humanity and suffering of Jesus and the mystery of his sacrifice. Below the cross are 14 images of the story of Jesus being condemned, crucified, and buried. The story on the wall is meant to remind people that the story of Christ's death doesn't end at his burial, but in the mystery of his resurrection, which is why the figure of the risen Christ was added. The design on the altar supports is meant to look like water flowing from the altar, which is a symbol for the living water given to people who believe in Christ. The crucifix hung on the back wall is a standard Christian icon. Its deep brown corpus and its light shadow cast against the white wall leaves a strong impression. The organ built by Schoenstein and Company of San Francisco it is a memorial to Francis Monaghan, who is a former vice president of the university and pastor of St. Anne's Church in Houston. The organ has more than 1,000 pipes and is placed 12 feet above the chapel floor. On the opposite side of the glass cross is a shrine dedicated to Mary. The artist depicts Mary as a teacher of wisdom. She does not embrace the child figure of Jesus, but instead, Mary has her hands reaching out to welcome people to learn the wisdom of the Word of God. John and Dominic de Menil were the Houston philanthropists who founded the Rothko Chapel, which was dedicated as an ultimate sanctuary available to the people of every belief in 1971. Rothko met and married Edith Satcher in 1932. His marriage fell apart when Rothko did not succeed in his work. He divorced Edith and married Bistel in spring 1945. His work expresses basic human emotions, tragedy, ecstasy, and doom. Mark Rothko took three years to complete the 14-panel display. The mission of the Rothko Chapel is to inspire people to action through art and contemplation to nurture reverence for the highest aspiration of humanity and to provide a form for global concerns. The chapel has presented and brought together faith leaders and human rights advocates from around the world, including the Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandel, and President Jimmy Carter. The Broken Obelisk comes to Houston as part of a 1967 government program that gave funds for monumental works of contemporary art in public places. The chapel also is a gathering place for people of all religious beliefs, students, art lovers, and scholars from all over the world to visit for research and inspiration. The Broken Obelisk is made of a quartan steel, a material that is designed to rust.